Hello guys again and welcome back to another video and today it is about curiosity day. We're gonna find out together how it looks inside. I was wondering, it is so lightweight this inverter welder, what parts it has inside? Well, let's gonna find out together. We've got six screws, one, two, three, four and another two from the other side. Let's take them out. And let's take this metallic matte finish and voila of course we've got the ground here let's take this out nice and there are all the parts inside here we've got two large heat sink to cool down the parts inside and one small We've got one temperature sensor here. There's the fan inside connected with this cable to the main board. The fan. We've got, of course, the switch. There's a cable for the switch. It gives power to this uh, inverter welder. We've got these two huge large bulbs that gives the negative and the positive at the front for the ground and the welding clamp. And of course you cannot miss the huge capacitors they are and they store electrical charge in an electrical field that's why even that this unit is not powered on they may have got some voltage inside and never never touch a capacitor if it is not discharged and we've got three inductors this is the large the medium and the smaller of course we've got some small resistors inside and some small capacitors of course sensors inside to measure all the time the temperature some diodes you can see here on the front inside these diodes are small uh, parts of this whole construction and here we've got and the leds two leds and we've got of course and the controller at this position there's a cable is connected here and we can see it from the other side how it looks here we can see better the diagram how they are connected everything at the back we've got some smaller parts that connect it and definitely it is a light way because it doesn't have a transformer or welders they've got transformer that's why they are so heavy transformer are so huge it depends of course the arms of the welder and more arms you need the bigger transformer and transformers as we know they are so heavy if we need to compare the transformer and the inverter welder inverters are better for many reasons they are so lightweight better efficiency efficiency and power saving they've got a better cooling system with a cooling fan they are more stable at the voltage and you will have a greater experience with the inverter welder. Overall, I can say they are better than the welders with a transformer. It is better to choose an inverter welder. Of course, as you can see, they've got so many electronic parts inside. It is like a computer, but it is lightweight. You can even carry on with your shoulder as you're working well guys that was end the curiosity day now you are smarter you know how it looks inside an inverter welder i always like to know how it looks a device inside now i know and with all that guys this is the end of the video please subscribe to my youtube channel it only takes one second press the subscribe button share this video you never know who may need it hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it and share this video have a nice and lovely day bye bye